Hey guys, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 6. Thanks so much for joining us. Today we are in Szczecin, Poland, exploring the singular Christmas market. We're gonna take you around and just see what this has to offer. Alrighty, so when we left you last, we're like, oh, we're hopping on the bus back to Berlin. It's gonna be fine. That's not what happened. <laughs> yeah, we had like high hopes for the Flix bus. It did not pan out the way we wanted to. We went to the bus station. We were there with some very nice ladies from Turkey. We were waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And all of a sudden we realized the bus is late. And they came over to us and asked, hey, are you on the same bus as us? Checked my email. <laughs> And like eight hours prior, they emailed me saying, hey, your bus is super duper late. It's probably not coming until like yeah. tomorrow. It was, thankfully we were able to get a refund at least that they offered through the website with the Flix bus. And then we just ended up buying last minute train ticket to go back to Berlin. Yeah, but even that was like, still it was really crazy because the train that we bought tickets for rolled up. It was jam packed. There was I've a ton of people in there. I've never, never seen the train so that packed. It was insane. And we couldn't even get on. Mm -hmm. We literally had to like wait for another train and we still ended up getting home in like a reasonable time. It was just like so hectic and like just so unplanned. Mm -hmm. But it ended up like working out. We definitely got on the wrong train, did not get fined and it ended up working out because we got on like an express train from Dresden to Berlin and I think it took like an hour and a yeah, half. It was only like an hour and a half. So today uh, to get from Berlin to Poland where we're at right now, uh, we had to take another Flix bus. So we were like, fingers crossed, things don't happen like they happened yesterday. But yeah, we'll see. new day trip, new city. We're back in a different country since, um, what city are we in, babe? We're in Szczecin, <laughs> Poland, and we're gonna take you to the Christmas market here. So let's get up from this bench and, yeah. and take you around. So enough talking, let's go check it out. Let's take a walk, take a walk. Oh, well. Oh, copyright. <laughs> I'm excited to be back in Poland because that means I get to practice my Polish with you. So we're gonna do some Polish practice. To jest budynek, tak? Bardzo dobrze. To jest drzewo, tak? Yeah. Yeah, and if you guys do wanna come here from Berlin, it was a pretty quick bus ride. I think it was under two hours. So it wasn't too bad. Where, where Berlin is in Germany, it's very close to the border of Poland. So if you didn't wanna hop over and check out some other Polish cities, then you have the ability to do that from here as well. It's cold button broke on my jacket. I need to sew it back on. <laughs> it's cold. But that's okay. The sun is at least still kind of out, so. It's definitely not as cold as it was yesterday. I feel like we say that in every vlog though. I don't know. It's getting like a little windy, so I just hate when it's like super cold and the wind hits your face and your cheeks feel like they're burning off your face. Is that just me? It's a universal yeah, but. feeling. To jest autobus. Tak? Tak. To jest śnieg. Bardzo dobrze. Today we're at one of two Christmas markets here in Szczecin. They're definitely much smaller than the ones we were at at Dresden yesterday, but I feel like it's gotten much busier since we first got here. So let's walk around. I'm getting hungry. Are you hungry? <laughs> yes, you're just shaking your head. Sweet, so let's go find something to eat then. To jest małe pies. Cute, look at this little Christmas sweater. Małe pies, tak? Tak, małe pies. Okay, Anna saw the cheese, and we had to have it. Cheese! We'll come back for this train later. Oh, that's what we like to see, ladies and gents. Okay, so what are we looking at here? What are these? So we got a sipki, and these are these like smoked cheeses. You can eat them cold or on the grill, but usually with Christmas markets in Poland or when it's like a colder weather, you'll see people grilling them. It just makes it so much better because then it gets... It makes it so much better because then it what? I'm back in Poland, of course. Just getting bumped left and right. Przepraszam pani. Przepraszam pani. Um, as you were saying. What was I saying? <laughs> and you just got so pissed. 
This is what it's like. I'm used to this. These are my people, but like rude. Grilled smoked cheese, right? These are hot. And then it's served with this like cranberry jam. So jump it in there. Smachnego. Dziękuję. Smachnego. It's like smoky, salty, sweet. To jest smaczne? Bardzo. Bardzo smaczne. <laughs> tak, tak, tak. Oh, I'm so better in Poland right now. To jest ser. To jest smaczne ser. Bardzo smaczne. My mom would always or get one of these at like the Polish grocery store. So they're like little trees that are stacked from like these like gingerbread cookies. But the problem was is that you weren't allowed to eat it. So then it was a decoration. But then like it would stay out too long and then get stale. And then my mom would be like, now you can eat it. And I'm like, To jest decoracja? To jest decoracja. Good job. <laughs> They got one of these big windmill pyramid things like we saw in Dresden the other day. Not as big, but still traumatizing. I think this one has more levels, but it's cool. It's de uh, no, I think the other one had more levels than this one. Yeah. I'm still traumatized from my childhood, though. Don't break this one, Nick. Don't, I'm gonna break this one, too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so something that people probably don't know is that Christmas trees are different in Europe. I don't know what type of tree it is, but you'll notice that they're like a little bit more sparse and like at the top, they're a little bit thinner. That's normal. They don't look like our American Christmas trees, but I still think that they're pretty cute. And I like how they're more unique. I would yeah. totally get like a tiny one. They're it's like little cute. baby ones. It does smell so good though. <laughs> oh yeah. Those are definitely like the bigger ones in the back. It's so cute. You just come here, pick up your tree, go home, they even wrap it. They got this little like wrapping thing over here. Shuck it on your car. So we're here getting some food. Can you explain to the people what a zapatanka is? It's like a toasted sandwich that's gonna have mushrooms, cheese, there's usually some type of sauce on it, or like butter. You can also put like a bunch of like meat and vegetables on it. I'm just gonna get the classic, so it's gonna be like cheese and mushroom. Exactly. Oh my God, I'm getting it on my glove. Oh, that is the zapatanki. All right, what do we got here? So the zapatanka that we got, I just thought it was gonna be cheese and like mushrooms, but she added a bunch of vegetables to it too. I'm not mad about it though. And then she put on top of it, it was a garlic sauce and then also like a spicy sriracha sauce, so. Sick. Let's see how it is. I'm gonna take my gloves off. I feel like you should take the first bite though, because I got to eat the cheese first last time. Okay. So you well, can have the first it. bite. <laughs> All right, let's take a bite here. That's good. Yeah. And then we also got two of these. It's just like non-alcoholic malt wine. So, tastes like a hot punch. It's yummy. You like Very yummy. Kanka? But it's a smudge now. So we've got a ton of mold wine options here, not as much as some of the other Christmas markets we've gone to, but unfortunately at this one, you're not gonna find any commemorative mugs that you can take home with you served in paper cups. That's okay. Um, we still like paper cups. It's good for the environment. That being said, you're not gonna have to mess around with any annoying deposits, but you're gonna have to buy your own souvenir somewhere. Else. Cheers. Yum. To jest duże coin, tak? Tak. To są kiełbasy, tak? Tak. Wesołe świąt! So we found the second part of the Christmas market. I think it's the same, it's just a little bit further down the street. Um, it's gotten later now and it's way busier. So as we're walking through the crowd, it's just very tight area. So we'll just take a lap around and see if there's anything cool here.
On this side of the Christmas market, we noticed that it's more like presents and decorations. There's still a bunch of food, but I would say that this side is split up more like decoration wise. It's Jimno, talk. It's Jimno. So, because we came to Poland, we had to actually switch out some of our Oh, Jesus! Oh, so, because we are coming to Poland, we actually had to switch out some of our money from euros to the Polish currency, which is złote. They look like this. It's a little different from what you'd expect from your euros. So, obviously, a different conversion rate and everything. Most of these vendors do take euros as well as złote, but uh, when you're coming here, you know, you can also use your card. But when you're coming here, you want to make sure that you bring at least some złote for tips. Thank you guys so much for joining us for Vlogmas Day 5 here in Szczecin. We really appreciate you guys tagging along. Stay tuned to see if we actually do make our bus back to Berlin. We'll keep you updated in the next episode. But otherwise, have a good one.